In the early days of 1978, my best friend Alain and I started a year-long trip throughout Canada, From Canada and the USA. to the USA, to the Rockies of Alberta, to the beaches of California. I wanted to see it all. I kept an ongoing journal throughout the trip uh, in which I carefully entered places, times, expenses, and recorded our misadventures. The diary survived the years and with some photographs and film footage, it's been a sort of mental link, a voice from the past, which has kept our memories alive. From time to time, I would read my journal with nostalgia, close my eyes and relieve the adventure again. I remember often I was feeling like someone meditating while living the moment to its fullest. Like John Kabat-Zinn, who wrote, wherever you go, there you are. I guess for me, this road trip was like a walkabout. A quest for my destiny where I tried to capture the guts of my own soul, if not the soul of the late 70s, 20th century America. Why did I wait nearly 30 years to set this story down? It is mainly due to the changes in my life, and changes in America, my adopted country. The story is about a journey that took place at the end of an era, in an America that has undergone significant changes since that time. The American dream of my youth is long gone, but the memory remains. The theme resonates with the book On the Road by Jack Kerouac, published in 1957, the year I was born. It differs only in that the humble intention of this book is to share the journal of my journey, without claiming to be the voice of a generation as Kerouac did and to make you yearn for traveling across a nostalgic time where hitchhiking was still possible and beers, sex, and drugs were a symbol of personal freedom.